All right, y'all. Welcome to um. Oh my God! What an intro! All right. Um. Welcome to Nuke Top Five. Top ten top t- top ten scary ghost videos for toilet viewing. Um, okay. The voice from the bushes. Doneen Bull Davis, who lives on the Louis Bull Tribe Reserve in Alberta, Canada, is relaxing at home one evening with her family. Suddenly, they begin to hear strange sounds coming from the dense thicket of bushes in their backyard. But they don't see anything there. What happened? You know, I had, I, um, uh, I might create another account of reacting videos. So if you want to go subscribe to that and uh hit, and um help me out with that one. I only got eighty uh, eighty subs uh, uh on Twitch and I think like twenty six subscribers. So if, if y'all see this video, uh make sure um it's not uh, I'm I don't know I don't do it yet, but like I don't know if I'm actually going to or not. But depending how this and will go, so. Um, but, yeah, let's get it. Happens next is truly creepy. <laughs> Donine and her family all hear the same spine-chilling sound of a raspy little voice coming from somewhere in their backyard. The voice just doesn't sound normal and then things really start to get weird you know it could be it could be um it could be uh god what's his name he's from god what hang on a minute what's his name It could be from. Is it the Hobbit? I think. Is he? Is it? Is the guy from? He goes. Precious, I need my precious ring. I forgot his name is. Um, but yeah, I should. I I watched this. I didn't watch Hobbit for so many years. So last time I watched it is when my brother was um in uh in the house with me. But he moved out to my dad's. So, that's a long time, pretty much. Um, hmm. Don't put goblin in the hobbit. No, not that big Julie chin guy Ah oh, here it is the golem as known as Simago is uh Smeagol, or I don't know how you pronounce his name, but um, hang on, my guys. <laughs> if y'all can see that guy, that's the guy. I'm, that's the guy I'm talking about. That's the guy I'm talking about. He's like, precious, I need my precious, my god, precious ring, I need. He's, he's like one of my favorites, too, I swear to god. He's funny, he's funny. But yeah, see that, that sorry, I'm pausing a lot, but see, that's what it, that's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> well, come on, so I can see you. Come on. 
I don't see anything. A creepy voice seems to mock the family, mimicking what they say and eerily laughing at them while hiding in the bushes. But believe it or not, the situation takes an even more terrifying turn. I, I think it's fake. Yeah, yeah. Comment down below if you think you guys think it's fake, because I believe it's fake. Come on out. Why not? Yeah, come on out. Come on. Come on, oh, out. dude, it's me. Was Red Red gone? No. I honestly think it's fake. Whatever is hiding in the bushes now asks, wanna play? And with that, the family has now just had enough. They call the local police to their house and Dunin shows them the footage that she has recorded. The officers scout through the bushes looking for the threatening stranger. One of the officers also hears the raspy little voice mocking him. But even though he says the voice sounds right next to him, he says he didn't see anyone in the bushes. Donine says that to this day, this disturbing event remains unexplained. Many video okay, commenters well. believe that this could be some kind of creature roaming the Louis Bull tribe reserve. But what do you think this creepy voice could be? I never did ghost hunting, so I never watched him either. Duke's top five viewer Savannah Escoto says that she had a very strange experience when she took her four-year-old daughter Isabella to visit her brother's grave at the San Fernando Cemetery in San Antonio, Texas. No, wait, what happened? What is it? Come here. Why don't you want to go sit down over there? They're scared of what? What the, the shadow? What girl shadow? What's that? Behind the tree. Behind the tree? Yeah. Little Isabella says that she sees quote, Hold on. a girl shadow behind a tree in the cemetery. Bella says that she sees. Is that it right there? If y'all can see my cursor, is that right there yet? Right here, or this Behind side? The tree? This side, right there? Is it that? Or the other says side? That she sees, quote, a girl shadow behind a tree in the cemetery and comes hurrying back to her mom. When Savannah turns her camera toward the tree, she catches what appears to be a face from behind. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it right there! Behind the tree. The face seems to be translucent as cars passing on the road behind can be seen right through it. So is this the girl shadow that little Isabella was afraid of? Her mom Savannah isn't sure what to think of this creepy experience. And she has no idea who or what this is. Before we move on. Is that true? Can y'all tell me uh, in the comments, is that true? Um... It, when you when you bury someone in a cemetery or a private cemetery, um, they're so in their soul or ghost will still be there and roam around, and there's a chance yeah, if uh, they will actually show up when they want to, and if you if someone a little girl or someone does notice it or your camera doesn't uh, 
camera knows it when you're recording around or something slowly, if not too fast, where you, you, where you can notice it. You know, you know what I'm saying. But is that true though? Where dead people who got buried at cemeteries actually still roam around and not go in heaven, or is that just the people who who did bad things who still sits there, or they're in like I say a queue? Or, like, in a waiting room, pretty much, waiting to choose to where to go, or something like that. I don't know. Can someone tell me down below? To the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Prized possession. This next creepy video was shared on the popular Spanish language podcast, Podcast Paranormal, by guest and paranormal investigator Antonio Zamudio. On the podcast, Antonio tells the story of Augusto, an 11-year-old boy who started behaving very oddly after buying a strange-looking doll at a garage sale. The little boy became obsessed with the toy. Fucking burn it. Burn it to the ground, and then pick up the ashes, stick in the bucket, light it on fire again, then pour, the, pour, uh, pour, and then, uh, pour some gasoline on it, burn it again, and then take it to a incinerator. At, the, at a junkyard, and then take it, take it back, right back out, and then yeet it as far as you can in at the into the ocean with a rock in a bucket, and make it float. But make sure there's a lid on it so you can actually the, all the ashes you actually go down to the bottom of the ocean. Because that is one. I, we have dolls, but that takes a cake. That's a ugly, scary doll I ever seen. My gosh! Boy, staying up all night and talking to the little doll. After hearing unexplained voices in their house, Gusto's mother had had enough. She threw the doll away. But. The doll mysteriously reappeared three days later at their home, lying at the foot of Augusto's bed. Paranormal investigator Antonio sets out to help the family and installs several static cameras throughout the home. The doll is placed in the hallway just outside the little boy's bedroom as he goes to sleep. The static camera recording the hallway catches something downright chilling. What is that? Hold on. Oh my god, it was sit it was sitting what is Soon after the boy falls asleep, the doll begins to move and then seems to actually run to the eleven year old's bedroom. Antonio and the family are shocked when they watch the footage. The investigator decides to take the doll from the family and has kept it locked away at his home ever since. So could the doll be possessed by a spirit? Or just what do you think happened here? Let me know. It, it could be. So I'm guessing it transferred into that. I think that's I think that's what happened. I don't know. The video was recorded by a CCTV camera in a horse stable, but the location of the stable and the original source of the footage are unknown. The video shows a horse in its stall, relaxed and peaceful. But around 2.39 a.m., there's an odd dark flash across the CCTV camera. And then all hell breaks loose. First and second one. Which one do you watch? There's a flash. Calm down, horse. It's all right. Calm down, baby. Jesus. What happened? Something unknown disturbs the horse so much that it panics and actually breaks right through its stall. But that's not all. Because as the horse roams loose in the stable, what happens next is truly bizarre.
Okay, there's a second angle. Okay. Hold on. I gotta... I'm trying to figure something out here. Because I'm trying to... Okay. Okay, in my opinion, it looks like someone, a demon is t attacking the horse and insulting the horse, and the, the horse is getting hurt, but I don't see no scars on it, or no blood or scratches on the horse, but, um, I think it's the horse is getting pushed, I'm guessing, by the, this demon ghost. I don't know. Or the ghost is trying to ride, like, get on the, get on the, um, horse. Honestly, people, the owner, not not hear the horses go off. Right now. The horse lingers at a different stall, disturbing one of the other horses as it kicks and makes panic noises. The horse then seems to angrily attempt to leap over into the other stall with that horse. The stable owner says that this incident is one of the weirdest things he's ever experienced with one of his horses. Now, this video was shared to TikTok, and comments mentioned that the culprit might be a uh, djinn, as apparently it is said that djinns will often torment horses. And there was also that odd dark flicker in the camera footage. So, paranormal or not? Really, without a source, we'll never know what happened here. And maybe this horse just randomly lost its damn mind. <laughs> from Baguio, Philippines is working the night shift when he spots a woman on the side of the road who needs a lift. What happens next is something he'll never forget. Just to, just to make sure, y'all, I was not the only one seeing, like, seeing stuff, right? Just to make sure, like, I'm not the only one who's seen that, right? Just make sure.
Multa ata yung nasa sakay ko ah. We can see the taxi door open and close and Jarek swears a woman wearing a long white and purple dress stepped into his taxi, requesting to be taken to Scout Barrio, a neighborhood in the city. After a short drive, he looks into his rearview mirror to discover that there is no woman in his car. She has disappeared. He's baffled and looks around the back seat in startled disbelief. Jarek says he was tired and never got a good look at the woman's face, but he's certain a woman got in his car. So could it be that Jarek gave a taxi ride to a spirit? Or just what do you think was happening here? The thing in the caves. Duke's top five year Raul Garcia Ogando reached out to me about something that his son caught on camera while exploring an old mine in El Paso, Texas. That was something. What would y'all do if um you feel uh, this happened to y'all? What would y'all do? No, no. Please tell me that number seven is painted. Did you see it? As Ryle's son pans the camera, someone or something can be seen hiding in the darkness of the cave. Raul explains huh. in his email that he didn't see anything at the time and didn't notice the figure until they looked back at their videos later. So what is this? Let me know. It's a rock man. It's a, it's a in the mirror in Morocco. It's a rock it's man, easily. Like. Your Carlo reached out to me about a strange video recorded by his sister Grace during a trip to Morocco. Not rock man, a uh Rock Gollum. Rock Gollum. Like an Ireland Gollum like an Iron Gollum or a Snow Gollum, it's a rock Gollum. So Grace and her husband are at the Riyadh La Russa Hotel in Fez, Morocco. Grace decides to take a video of the beautiful 17th century palace style interior. What happens next is truly bizarre. This is the door going inside. Zip button. And then this is going outside. Is that button you can press or something? We're I guess. Now heading to the. Oh, there it is. Something's gonna be it. Something's gonna be a mirror or something. What a sweet little orc village. Let's make some trees nearby. A few rips. Raid resources. Mm. I think I missed it. A man appears out of nowhere, startling Grace so much that she apologizes for almost walking into him. No, because that's... Now, here's where it gets weird. When taking a closer look at the footage, Grace and her husband can clearly be seen in the reflection of a mirror hanging on the wall in front of them. But there's no man. And in a split second, the man appears right in front of her, standing quietly. Grace then turns towards the exit, and we see her reflection again in a different wall mirror. But again, the standing man is not there. She turns around, and the man is gone. 
Now, finally, perhaps this is just normal camera blur, but when taking a close look at the man's face in the video, something just doesn't look quite right. But you decide on this. So did Grace capture a normal event on camera? Could this be a so-called glitch in the Matrix? Either way, no, it could be a glitch in the, in the in the camera. <laughs> Your car's extended gen warranty. Popular Jordanian no, could be investigator fake. Hassan Barbar is exploring an abandoned location somewhere in the middle of nowhere when suddenly he hears the sound of his car alarm going off in the distance. Make it more zoom out, bro. Can't see nothing. Now, obviously, camera, bro. Hassan wants to know what triggered the car alarm, and he heads back to check it out. What happens next was all captured live on Snapchat. It's fingerprints. Fingerprints. <laughs> Something jumps out at Hassan, absolutely scaring this sh out of him. He eventually regains his composure, but when he looks around the car, he finds nothing and no one. I should get head on. They then got me, dude. They made me jump. Hassan, this isn't the end. Stop record. Uh, stop going live. Put your camera down and get in your car and get your ass out of there. My God, you dumb idiot! You got you. You got. It almost got jumped and your ass whooped by a ghost. And now you they stole your oh they almost stole your car but they changed your changed their mind and then now I'm pretty sure you still want to continue recording. Oh God, idiots, dude. <laughs> Never, ever. Mess with the ghost, bro. Literally, he's on, he's on the main road. They literally told him to get out. That's what he did. That's what they did. They got in his car, drove it to the main road, stopped, and told him to get out. That's pretty much what they're saying to him right now. Is that, I don't know if the jump scare gave him a fucking first warning to get out. Or the part that they stole his car. Idiots, dude. Idiots. The car seems to just drive away on its own, eventually coming to a stop a little way down the road. Hassan is shocked by the bizarre experience as he once again finds no one in or around his car. The investigator has had enough. He ends his live stream and drives home. 
presumably wanting to be sure that his car doesn't just thank you home without him thank you dude capture creepy gen activity live on camera or is it all just an elaborate hope you, you decide the old sacred heart restaurant and what you watch I'm recording the video on this <laughs> Boy, right. Nick, you want yeah. to Ozone Pizza, located in the old abandoned and restored Sacred Heart Hospital in Pensacola, Florida. The hospital was built way back in 19. Wait, hold on. Did you say he works the pizza places in? He works at the hospital. Ozone Pizza, located in the old abandoned and restored Sacred Heart Hospital in Pensacola, Florida. The hospital was built way back. No, no, bro, no. If I worked in the in, in the pizza place ne uh, next or in the abandoned hotel, bro, no, I'm I'm done. I quit. Back in 1915, and except for the pizza restaurant, the large structure is mostly empty. It's said that the old hospital is haunted by former patients and the ghosts of nuns who work there. It's 11:30. No, no, bro, I'm done. I'm I'm done, bro. Like if I worked there, bro, I'm quit. No. Take my badge off, take my suit, my clothes suit off, slam it down on the damn, um, on a desk, call my boss, beep boop, beep boop, call my boss, man. Hey, man, I quit. No, I'm done. I'm not doing this banded bull crap. It hangs up and, and drive off, dude, because, nah, dude, I won't do that. Night, and Nikki decides to go on a walk around It'd the be cool. with his co-workers after their shift. It'd be cool, That's but. when the group spots something. Very creepy. Oh you see it? It had arms. No, those are arms. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's a real person. No, those are arms now. No, those are arms. No, those are arms. No, no, I don't care. Those are arms. Yeah, I put none of that on. I see it. That's fing arms. The building is completely empty, yet someone can be seen standing behind a window. The group freaks out and have no idea who or what it could be. Nikki and his friends believe that the creepy apparition might belong to one of the nuns who used to work in the hospital. And a close-up of their capture does indeed look a bit like a thin woman who could be dressed in a nun's habit. But again, hmm. I ask, what do you think this is? I don't know. Thing in the basement. TikTok user Will Graves is home alone when he starts to hear the disturbing sound of someone walking around in his basement. Now, Will believes his house to be haunted, so he starts recording and cautiously... Now, Will believes his... Who does that, dude? That is so... That's... Who would keep big rings in their ears that can easily get ripped out? Easily. This can go through his ear. My pop bottle can go through his ear. I'm trying to find another example. His house to be haunted, so he starts recording and cautiously heads downstairs to check it out. Okay, TikTok. So my power is out at the moment in the basement. I swear I keep hearing someone walk. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's kind I of think crazy. I missed it. I think I missed it. I heard a sound. I Walk. think I missed it. I don't know exactly what it is. Yeah, I missed it. It's kind of creepy. Laundry room still has power, so that's good. But the, uh, the rest of the basement's power is completely out, which is very strange. I'm not sure. This could be fake. 
what the noise was, but I don't know. I'm home alone right now, so. <sighs> You're living alone? Yeah, I guess. Open a window. Back. Just open a window and keep it open. Let the light shine. No, nothing back there. I don't know. There's been a lot of strange things happening. It's a kitchen Figures, in the basement? Shadows. That's cool. So, I don't know. Maybe some tips, advice would help out. I can't really see anything, but nah, there's no one in here. Did you see it? As Will walks downstairs into his basement, someone can be seen standing inside his bathtub. Oh, so he that's what that sound was. I, I knew I missed it. When I Will knew I missed back it. Into the bathroom about 30 seconds later, the figure has completely disappeared. Will says that he's done several paranormal investigations at his local cemetery, and he believes something might have followed him home. But is it real, or is it all? Just an elaborate Could hoax. be. You decide. I don't know. Could happen. Who Thanks knows? so much for watching. As always, my schedule's... Alright, well... That could be it, but... Who knows, but... Damn. That was nuts. So, not so much about the, uh, horse and the, uh... Been in hospital. I don't know about them too, but the rest of them, I don't. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty. That's that's terrifying. And the, and the one with the car that he, the guy jumped out from. Because if it, if if it was a ghost, it wouldn't be shown in the video. Because ghosts sometimes ghosts don't like be shown in the video. But um, who knows? So. But yeah, thank you for watching. Catch you next time.